Well, you sing what I call songs of the heart, and that by that I mean uh, you sing a song that means something particularly to you, and I wonder if, if that's not a, a tough way to make a living when every song ideally has to mean as much to your audience as it does to you. Um, <laughs> yes, it is tough. Uh, I think most of, the, most of the songs I sing are uh, stories about people, you know, people that, that have, uh, people that live in small towns and people that go from small towns to the big cities and, and the different sort of uh, changes that they go through and the different emotions that happens. Your music is uh, the result of quite a successful collaboration attempt between you and your partner and I was wondering uh, what exact role do you and your partner both play and who is your partner? His name is Peter White. I met Peter when I came over, first came over from England about seven years ago. We were both working in the same, in the same business. And, um, Peter saw me play, I think it was in Giuseppe's Pizza when that was run one weekend and came up to me the next day at work and said, look, Paul, I got some lyrics, you know. Uh, why don't you come over and take a look at them? And I did. And, uh, well, we've been working together ever since as far as writing songs together. And Peter is, does all my promotion, acts as my manager, and uh, it's, it's a pretty good working relationship. In, in your music, Paul, you've, you've captured the things that are so very close, the parts of human nature that I think a lot of writers skip over in an effort to sensationalize or whatever, and uh, you come up with uh, things like Queen of the May and says very personal human things that everyone must experience. Uh, is this a is this a, a, an out and out effort to find these obvious things or does it just come natural? Well I think it comes naturally and I think Pete sort of picks up on sort of you know situations like that sort of uh, and um, I don't know he has a very good way of you know, expressing them and bringing out if you like the emotions that are sort of involved in the, say the young girl that you know, leaves the small town and goes to the big city and uh, obviously is confronted with a lot of uh, things that she's never seen before and uh, goes through a lot of changes, you know. And Beer Parlor Ben and Saturday Sal is about a... I remember we were in, in Toronto working, uh, digging basements because there wasn't too much happening musically and uh, we were sitting having a coffee break in a, in a cafe and... Uh, we overheard the, the waitress sort of talking about her uh, husband and how it, how the marriage had sort of gone stale and Peter picked up on this and wrote a song about it. And I suppose by virtue of the arrangement, the production, the type of songs that you've recorded, you've been labeled a folk singer. What would you call, in your own words, the bag that you're in musically? I think I do a sort of a mixture of music, if you like. I think if you take the album, there is a, there is a country, some rock in it, some folk, and even some classical, you know, so I never like to classify, classify myself in a bag, you know, but as I say, I'm always classified as a folk singer. But I think, uh, you know, I don't know, country folk maybe, country folk. I'm, I'm sort of getting more and more into the, uh, the country field. The songs that, uh, that we're writing now are coming out a little more country. I think if we do another album, it'll be a, a lot more country rock with, you know, a couple more folk sort of ballads. How do people react to these, to the, these obvious things? You know, people are out looking for uh, something more and more flashy in the movies or whether it be in music and all this, but mm -hmm. you've stayed with these, these human things. Do, do you think people always will respond to these things? I think so. I think if you can... If you can get people in the right, you know, situation to perform to, and, and um, I like to feel that, that part of my commu communication with the audience is done through emotions, if you like, you know. I think it enables people to, uh, to understand a little better, you know. And of course, the obvious situation to, to perform music like this is in a concert or a coffee house, not in an alcoholic uh, watering hole, you know, which I try and avoid, which I do avoid. Except at night when I'm uh, drinking in them, but uh... <laughs> I've listened to your album and I, I think it's a great album. And I know that you're going to do another one right away. And uh, 
Do you feel the need for any uh, change of directions if time has dictated a change to you? I hate to use the word uh, commercial, but um, in order, let's face it, in order for me to play more places, better places, you can't, you can't get away from the fact that you have to have a hit single. So I think we'll be bearing that in mind when we go into the studio. And as I said before, the material now is, is a lot more country folk, folk, uh, country rock, if you like, you know. So as I say, we've got a little better material to work with this time. But there will be, a, you know, a couple of, like I say, folk ballads on the album. But we're going to be looking too towards the States, I think, for a market as well. Because let's face it, the market in Canada is, is so small, it's, uh, you can't really, uh, can't really do, do much up here. It's a lot easier now, you know. It's, um, I think I could probably have put up with a lot more when I was first starting out, you know. It involved, you know, sort of being on the road almost constantly and uh, playing in, like you say, places where you know, people really weren't willing to listen too much. Now it's it's a little easier, I guess, because uh, you know, having built up a reputation, having been on the road for four or five years or however long I've been uh, doing it, um, it's easier to go, you know, for Peter to go into a university and you know, hand them an album and say, you know, we're interested in doing a concert. But I'm, I don't really think I'm, I'm in it to. Uh, Make a million dollars. If you, if you, I think I, you know, I, I sort of great, get a great deal of satisfaction out of playing, coming away from a, a really good concert. And uh, of course, you, you you still have to realize that it is a business, and you still have to you still have to climb if you like, and you still have to charge a certain amount of money. But um, as long as I can stay fairly far away from the business end of it, I'm you know I can pretty happy doing what I'm doing.